whom you're watching Unplug TV India. This is Alice Francis. Thanks for tuning in. Let's catch some major updates from around the world. SP leader writes to President demands Bharat Ratna from Mulayan Singh Yadav. In a letter to President Draupadi Murmu, SP leader IP Singh demanded that late SP founder and former UPCM Mulayam Singh Yadav be conferred with the Bharat Ratna. In a separate letter to CM, Yogi Adityanath Singh requested him to rename the Agra Lucknow Expressway as the Dhartiputra Mulayam Singh Yadav Expressway. Yadav passed away on Monday at aged 82. Secret ballot for Congress President polls to ensure level playing field, says CEA Mystery. Presidential polls for the Congress party will have a secret ballot to ensure a level playing field for both Mallikarjun Kharge and Sashi Tharoor, the party's Central Election Authority Chairman Madhusundha Mistri said. Mistri further added that the polling authority cannot stop any individual from campaigning. The ballot papers will be mixed before counting starts, Mistri added. BJP is the only national party left in India, says party chief J.P. Nadda. While addressing a gathering in Gujarat, BJP President J.P. Nadda said his party is the only national party left in India. Calling Congress a party of a brother and sister, he claimed Congress leaders are only in the party for merriment and to serve a family. He said parties like SP, TRS, TMC and RJD are carrying out dynasty politics. Supreme Court split verdict on hijab ban. Petitions challenging the Karnataka hijab ban led to a split verdict in the Supreme Court today. Justice Hemant Gupta dismissed the petitions against the hijab ban while Justice Sudhan Shurdhulia allowed them. In view of the split verdict, the bench directed that the appeals against the High Court verdict be placed before the Chief Justice for constituting an appropriate larger bench. A bench of Justices Hemant Gupta and Sudhan Shudhulia had reserved its judgment on the pleas against the Karnataka High Court judgment, refusing to lift the ban on hijab on September 22 after hearing arguments from 10 days. Bag containing explosives found in Jammu's Ramban. Three improvised explosive device or EIDs were found stuffed in a bag in Jammu and Kashmir's Ramban with officials saying today that a possible plan by terrorists to carry out explosion in the district has been averted. Photographs of three bridges were also found along with the explosives suggesting that they were apparently on the target of the terrorist who abandoned the bag. The bag was found lying in Bashra Dharma forest of Sangaldan in Kool subdivision. ED charge sheet journalist Rana Ayub in money laundering case. The Enforcement Directorate has filed a charge sheet against journalist Rana Ayub under the Prevention of Money Laundering Act on allegation of cheating public. The charge sheet which names Rana Ayub as accused was filed before a designated court in Uttar Pradesh, Ghaziabad on Wednesday. The probe agency ED initiated a money laundering investigation on the basis of an FIR registered by the UP police in 2021. Rana Ayub has been accused of illegally acquiring funds from the public in the name of charity. The ED has alleged that the Rana Ayub had started three campaigns and raised crores via Keto, an online crowdfunding platform. After human sacrifice case of occult practice using children emerges in Kerala. A case of occult practices using children has been reported in Kerala's Patanam Thilla district. A child reportedly fell unconscious when a female tantric was allegedly using the child for a ritual. The woman has been taken into custody by the police. This comes after three people were arrested in Kerala's Kochi for the ritualistic killing and human sacrifice of two women. In this case, the woman identified as Shobhana, also known as Vasanthi, was involved in practices in Malayam Zuppa town of Kerala's district. A child who was involved in the ritual reportedly felt unconscious. India abstains from UN vote on Russia's illegal annexation of Ukrainian regions. India abstained from voting in the UN General Assembly on a draft resolution that condemned Russia's illegal so-called referendums and annexation of the Donetsk, Kherson, Luhansk and Zoporizhia region of Ukraine. A total of 143 members voted in favour of the resolution, while 5 voted against it. As many as 35 members abstained from the resolution. 
Russia kidnaps deputy chief of Europe's largest nuclear plant. Russia has kidnapped a deputy chief of Europe's largest nuclear power plant, the Zaporizhia in Ukraine. Valery Martrink is being detained at an unknown location, Ukraine State Nuclear Energy Company said on Tuesday. It said on International Atomic Energy Agency Director General Rafael Grossi to take all possible measure to help free the deputy. Can lead to third world war, Russia on admission of Ukraine to NATO. The admission of Ukraine to the North Atlantic Treaty Organization can result in third world war. The Deputy Secretary of Secretary Council of the Russian Federation, Alexander Vendiktov said. He also repeated a Russian position that the West, by helping Ukraine, indicated that they are a direct party to the conflict. Another COVID wave in China imposes lockdown. Shanghai's COVID cases jumped to a three-month high as city officials quietly shut school in a raft of other venues to try to rein in a flare-up that's hit the financial hub just days before one of China's most important political events. The city reported 47 new infections for Wednesday, the most since July 13, when a brief flare-up revived fears of another general lockdown. Of the latest cases, all but two were found in quarantine. Beijing recorded 18 cases on Wednesday. India enters final of Women's Asia Cup, eighth successive time. India rode on a quick fire of 42 and a three-wicket haul from Dipti Sharma to outclass Thailand and reach the Women's Asia Cup final for the eighth successive time in the history of the tournament. India defeated Thailand by 74 runs successfully, defending a 148-run total. India will face the winner of the second semi-final between Pakistan and Sri Lanka in the final in Shillet on Saturday. India have reached the final of the Women's Asia Cup in all eight editions of the tournament, winning seven titles. Team India celebrate Hardik Pandya's birthday in a small plane. Several Team India players, including Dinesh Karthik, Rohit Sharma and Deepak Hudda, celebrated all-rounder Hardik Pandya's birthday in a small plane in Australia. Sharing a video, Karthik wrote celebrating birthdays on ground was too mainstream, so we took to the sky. In the video, Pandya can be seen sitting with the pilot, apparently ahead of the takeoff. Shah Rukh Khan books five star hotel rooms for fans, meets them individually. Actor Shah Rukh Khan recently booked five star hotel rooms for some of his fans and met them individually after finishing his shoot scheduled for Jawar in Chennai. A manager, along with two butlers, were allotted to us. He gave us all enough time to interact, click pictures, and even present him with our gifts, the fan added. SRK Nayanthara to shoot Jawan's last schedule in Rajasthan SRK Nayanthara will reportedly shoot for the last schedule of Jawan in Rajasthan. As per a report, the 20-day schedule will mark the wrap-up of Shah Rukh Khan and Nayanthara shoot for the Atlee's directorate. Jawan's remarks Shah Rukh Khan's first collaboration with Atlee and Nayantara. The film will release in Hindi, Tamil, Telugu, Malayalam and Kannada. Thank you for watching Unplugged TV India. Please hit like, subscribe and share.